What I want to encourage business owners to do is think in an accruals way. The other thing I want to mention is cash versus accruals. So um, what I mean by this is sometimes you get caught off guard. Let's say if um, you're, you're, you pay your insurance annually, um, and oh, I'm going to pull a figure out of the air. Let's say your insurance bill is $12,000 a year and you pay that every year, once a year. Now, from a cash flow perspective, that's a once a year payment. And if we include it in the profit and loss in the month that you pay it, you'll have this huge increase in expenses for that month in insurance and then zero for the rest of the year. Now, that's, that's reporting on a cash basis. But what I want to encourage business owners to do is think in an accruals way. <laughs> uh, so um, what I mean by that is, in reality, your insurance is costing you $1,000 a month. Not 12 grand a year, but it's $1,000 a month. Um, I know it's the same thing, but, but the, the whole point is when we think accruals, we're, we're thinking a true profitability in our, uh, in our month. Um, and again, if your bookkeeper uh, is, is currently doing that and reporting your, your annual or your quarterly expenses and, and showing them every month, that's a fantastic thing. Um, if they're not yet, um, then that's a good tweak to do. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a bit advanced compared to cash. But again, as a business owner, you go, okay, cool. Well, I didn't have to fork out the grand, so to speak, that's showing in the PL, but I know that I do that every year. So I need to include that. So I'm not having this seasonally huge expense in one month uh, that I haven't accounted for for the rest of the year.